Did you know that less than 10% of our viewers are subscribed to the channel? Subscribe now and don't miss any news from the Grand Theft Auto universe. Welcome back to GTA Insights. New ideas and discussions ahead. Stay tuned and take care. On Reddit user, Gerard Really Tough commented on gameplay mechanics he'd like to see in the next GTA game. Here's what he said. GTA 6 mechanic I'd like to see. I've made a similar comment before, but I thought I would voice my entire idea in a post. I think it would be cool if every vehicle actually had working exterior and interior parts, and all NPC cars, parked or being used, might have all new parts running nice and well, or maybe a few internal parts that are more worn and torn, like a belt about to snap, etc. Depending on the condition of the car, you could be left stranded after a little bit of rough driving. So after learning the condition of certain vehicles, you can either choose to not steal a beat-up car, or take it and not drive it as hard. I imagine your character can open the hood to see all the working parts, getting a quick glimpse of what's good and what's bad. They might have a diagnostic device too, that they can plug into most cars to see minor issues, as soon as they enter vehicles. I was thinking too that cars will have random levels of gasoline when you enter them, so that's another determining factor of choosing which car to steal, you might have to refuel. With these gameplay mechanics of cars having internal parts that can be damaged, you could have a big system in the mod shop, being able to swap out all the internal parts for better ones. Maybe there's a mechanic skill you can upgrade as you progress through the game that enables you to have better tools, and you learn how to fix vehicle parts while on the road. I think this gameplay mechanic would be fun because it would make the cars you steal feel expendable. Just trying to get to where you're going quickly with a beat-up car, that you're steadily crashing and fucking up even more. Then on the other hand, you've got your own cars that you have to take care of. Driving them for extended amounts of time can degrade internal parts, so you have to have regular checkups. Maybe your own personal cars actually take a certain amount of time to leave the mod shop, depending on the severity of damage. Like your car gets blown up and you get it towed to a mod shop, it takes three to five in game days to get completely fixed. What do you guys think? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.